All right, what's good, Thimpers? Long time no see, long time no see. I'm back with a very, very interesting video. I was going to make a video about Aiden Ross a long time ago, like three months ago. It wasn't going to be Diddy of streaming until recently. I was on Twitter. I seen some clips of Aiden, and I was like, I had to make this video. I'm going to show you all the clips that really pushed me to make this video. Hey, Jesus, why do you even want to... Bro, bro, all right, bro. Get your... Bro, get your... All right, I'm about to... No. Get your ass back before I boom your ass. Yeah, I'm going Damn it. One more hand, and I'm out, bro, literally. Niggas, bro, stop, bro. No, no, stop, bro. That ain't that. We can do this wager. Please, bro, stop with that gay ass. What the fuck you just put your dick on me for, nigga? He put his dick on these niggas' shoulders. Now, we know Aiden Ross. <laughs> this nigga's weird as fuck. He blew up off of acting gay. Now, he put his dick on these niggas' shoulders, and then he even grabbed Cuffham's hair. He got behind him and grabbed his hair. I was going to make this video when I seen those clips, but yesterday... I was on Twitter again, and I seen this video of Aiden that he, I don't know if this happened yesterday or the day before, I'm gonna put a clip for y'all. It's Diddy. Check me out, man. I got a lot of baby oil. Who's pulling up to the next party? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, it's Diddy right here. It's Diddy. Come fuck with me, man. Come to my next party. I got hella baby oil. You know what I mean? You don't gotta worry about shit. And after seeing that video, I was like, yeah, that's my sign to finish this video. I had the thumbnail and everything ready for a few months. Y'all know I take long ass breaks from YouTube and finally come back. Um, and that motivated me to make this video. Now, I don't even know where to begin. We seen the video I showed y'all of Aiden putting his dick on the nigga's shoulders and grabbing it. We know what kind of nigga Aiden is, and y'all gonna learn more about him as I go throughout this video, but that's a crazy claim on paper to call Aiden Ross the Diddy of streaming. Yes, because we know P. Diddy has done some weird, weird things, and Aiden's just a, a streamer, and... He's not nowhere near P. Diddy level of fame and clout. And that's true. He's not. But notice I put Diddy of streaming. Now, the streaming world and the entertainment world, they do go hand in hand. But that's another topic for another day. I don't even know where to begin. I know most of y'all most likely seen the... um the all white parties the all white parties i forgot the dude's name hold on i got the let me see michael rubin okay that's his name michael rubin he's a billionaire he owns the like um fanatic brand i believe and he has these all white parties once a year with uh famous athletes nba players nfl players rappers singers actors and they all wear all white and they go to his party. Now, I've never been to one. I'm sure you watching this video never been to one. But there's a common um, agreement but beyond people of this being some weird, weird stuff going on. Now, I'm going to show y'all pictures of the Michael Rubin dude and some celebrities. And y'all tell me what y'all think of these pictures. Here, this is the Michael Rubin dude, the weird looking nigga, the short one. That's him right there with Devin Booker, Tom Brady, and James Harden. These are public pictures on Michael Rubin's Instagram. This nigga is holding the back of James Harden. He's holding the back of James Harden's neck. His fingers are like on James Harden's neck, and James Harden looks like he's the happiest man alive. And then Tom Brady's right there. And then if you look at Devin Booker, the Michael Rubin nigga is holding... He damn near holding Devin Booker's thigh. And he posted these pictures on his public Instagram. And I I don't I don't know. This looked like an awkward pose for the Michael Rubin dude to be in. To hold a nigga that's all the way on the other side's neck and then hold Devin Booker. But it's some more pictures. This is uh what's his nigga name? Damar Hamlin. He's an NFL player. He's holding the Michael Rubin nigga from the back. And y'all might say, well, this is just a friendly picture. Oh, okay, okay. This is Michael Rubin and Joel Embiid. He's an NBA player. It looked like this nigga bought the kiss Joel Embiid on the lips. And he posted this on his public Instagram. He holding... This is a weird angle to hold somebody. Like, who? Another nigga. He's holding another nigga like this. Joel Embiid, like, seven foot, bro. This Michael Rubin nigga, he like five, six. He holding this nigga like this. Like, he about to stun this nigga, Stone Cold. But this is Kyle Kuzma, Lil Baby, and Michael Rubin. Three niggas hugging at once. What do y'all think? And then this is the Michael Rubin dude and Lil Baby. This is on his public Instagram once again. 
Lil Baby is supposed to be a hood nigga street rapper, you know what I mean? He shoot people, kill people, but he's letting a nigga like this hold him like this and post it on his Instagram for everybody to see. Also, this Michael Rubin dude, he had Meek Mill um, bunny hopping like this because he lost on, uh, he beat him in tennis and he had Meek Mill doing this. Meek Mill, another hood nigga gangster rapper, right? So earlier this year, Aiden Ross, he was invited to the uh, the all-white party by the Michael Rubin dude. And Aiden Ross, he did go. But when he did get the invite, I think he sent him like a package in the mail or something. Aiden Ross decided to invite other uh, streamers and YouTubers. Oh shit, flight call me. Kamani, what are you doing July 4th? July 4th. Shit, I mean right now I have no plans. That's the 4th of July. Cool. You're going to come to Michael Rubin's all-white party with me. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I heard about that. What? You don't want to go? Well, Curry's going to be there. Yeah, I mean, that sounds nice, but I heard about some things about the Ruben party. No, 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 no. You're with me. Steph Curry's going to be there. Yeah, bro, that sounds so lit, bro, but the Ruben does not sound right in a lie. Bro. He's a good dude. Steph, you he love Curry. He, he... I just don't want to get a drunken hug. That's what I'm <laughs> you want... I, this is Michael Rubin's all-white party for July 4th. Would you like to go with me? No. <laughs> wait, wait, no? Yeah, I, I got invited to the other one. I said, nah. Oh, you're going to another July 4th party? No, I got invited to the last Michael Rubin. So why didn't you go? Because, I don't know. I didn't want to go. Okay, well, um, if you're not doing anything July 4th, wait. would you want to go to the all-white all party? <laughs> wait, you got, wait, you got invited to the all-white? Yeah. Uh, GG's in the chat. Hey, just keep tack, make sure you got- <laughs> Do you want to go with me? No. Come on. Bro, no. Like, the internet is so dumb to think that this weird shit happens at that party. Duke, do you want to come to Michael Rubin's all-white party with me this year? Hell no. Nah. Why? Hell no. Nah. Appreciate, appreciate the invite, though, brother. Appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, Tyrese. Yeah, no, nah, I- Are you sure you don't want to come? Oh, yeah, no. Nah. All right. All right. I'm just checking in, bro. All right, bro. Duke, I appreciate you, bro. You could hear, you could hear Aiden's voice that he, what kind of nigga he really is, right? He's like, do you want to come to Micah Rubin's party with me? Whatever. Y'all heard what Aiden said. All three of these niggas are very popular um, creators or what influencers, whatever, and they heard some stuff about it. Now, what does that tell you about Aiden Ross, who is a popular streamer, who heard stuff about it and still went? What does that tell you? If that Michael Rubin dude is holding Joel B like this, like he's trying to give him a Stone Cold Stunner, or hugging Lil Baby like this and uh, grabbing James Harden's neck, grabbing Devin Booker's thigh, what would he do to a nigga like Aiden Ross, who plays gay on camera for views and money? What will he do with him? behind the scenes there's another clip you know aiden is jewish i got nothing against jewish people or nothing but it was aiden and the michael rubin dude they went somewhere bro they met the owner of an nfl team or something this old ass nigga i'm gonna put a clip for y'all literally there's like five big streamers in the world he's like number two number three in the world pleasure man and he's a jewish kid too. pleasure now that old ass nigga right there that nigga you know he's old as fuck, his dick probably can't get hard, but he's, he probably didn't need Viagra or nothing after he heard that Aiden was a Jewish kid too. You could tell the excitement in his voice. Like, yes, he probably, I don't know how old he is, he look old as shit, he could barely move or talk. You can kind of see his eyes lighting up when that uh, Michael Rubin, he whispered it to him, he said, he's a Jewish kid too. He's like, wow, oh, that nigga love that shit. That tell you some weird shit's going on. Like, what the fuck, why did he whisper that? But the reason this video is titled The Diddy of Streaming is because... Whenever there's a streamer on the rise, Aiden Ross comes along and he does some some gay shit to them. Now, I'm not going to show y'all too many examples. I got one example that I think will hit the nail on the coffin. But I Show Speed. Now, y'all know I Show Speed is one of the biggest streamers. He got like 31 million subscribers. He's going very crazy. He's one of the biggest niggas on the internet. Not just He's one of the biggest niggas on the internet. If y'all remember Speed, he was getting like... I think a million subscribers per day or a hundred. I forgot. He was getting hella subscribers per day. And after he got his first like million, Aiden Ross invited him to come to um, LA to hang out with them. And 
Aiden would do shit like put niggas on uh, blind dates. So I'm going to show you all this clip. He put speed on a blind date. This was his first like week or two of meeting speed. He put speed on a blind date. And I'm going to just show you all. Then I'm going to talk about it. In five years, if you're alive, um, I see myself bending you over. Like, you, you in the position that I like, doggy style, but like, you bent over downstairs. And I'm, I'm completely joking. I don't, I don't like fucking other people. I'm just joking. I just couldn't hold that girl voice for too much longer. You just, what, 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 what was that? What was what? What was that? What was what? Don't tell me you're a man. I'm trans, but yeah. That person on the left is, um, for some reason, they kind of give me Optimus Prime, Bumblebee type of vibes, if you know what I mean. And Aiden did that knowingly, knowing that speed is on the rise. He can't really say certain things about that person because, you know, his career would have been over. People would have been like, oh, you're this and that. You're this and that. But then there's another thing that happened not too long after. This is on Aiden's uh, YouTube channel. It was Speed, that Optimus Prime type individual, and uh, Prime. That's Aiden's... Aiden does some weird stuff to Prime, too. But this isn't about that. He does a lot of weird stuff involving his friend Prime. His friend Prime. It's cold as fuck in here. It's cold in here? Yeah, it's cold as hell. Damn, what the fuck is that smell? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, bro. Chill, bro. <laughs> that stinks. Oh God, it smells so bad. Chill, I'm bro. From this. <laughs> Chill, bro. You tweaking? <laughs> what? Nothing, bro. Hey, pull up some chair. <laughs> Bro, chill. I'm like, come on, I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. What is he? I'm weird. I'm bro. Just fall with chair. Bro, you being weird. <laughs> Yo. All right, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Y'all good? <laughs> I'm great. I'm great, also. <laughs> Nothing, bro. Bro, what? What is that smell, though? On oh, God, it smells really bad. Breath no, let's let me smell. No, like your breath. What? It's not your breath. It not stinks. A, what does it smell like? <laughs> like, like must, bro. It smells musty. You ain't musty, bro. Is that me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yo, yo, baby, hunter, thanks for the five gifted. Mm -mm. <laughs> Yo, hold up, bro, hold up. Oh, I'm good, I'm chilling. Um, how was your guys' little Omega, how was your, how was your Omega stream? Oh, it was, uh, yeah, it was great. <laughs> That's cool. It was cool, man. Me and her had a great time, I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What'd y'all do? We just chill, bro. We just chill. She cool, bro. <laughs> she, she cool as hell, to be honest. <laughs> oh, bro, she cool as fuck. <laughs> Obviously, you got a brain. You could kind of sense what happened between those three, those two niggas and the one Optimus Prime Bumblebee type once again. And if you know I Show Speed or seen his clips, you know he's a um, energetic, loud, energetic movie type of nigga. In this clip, he wasn't like that. He had, not, he had no energy. He had no energy and Prime. They all came in a room weird. Aiden was saying he smelled. Keep in mind, this is when Speed was blowing up. Now Speed, years later, is one of the biggest niggas on the internet. And Aiden set this up and it posted the video to the public. Now, y'all know, obviously, what happened based off that. If you use context clues and if you're not stupid, you know what happened. Aiden Ross set that up. He put Speed with a Optimus Prime type, a Bumblebee type, a Decepticon type, and basically got Speed. I, I don't know everything in the world, right? I'm just a human just like you. But if you do research and see what some of these people, these rich, famous people do, you can see kind of where that whole thing went with Prime. He didn't blow up because I feel like he Aiden uses Prime as just a way to, to 
destroy um, black people. If you do research, that's another video. Let me know if you want that video. Aiden versus the black community. But <laughs> Aiden set this whole thing up. And Speed was like 17 or 16 when this shit happened. So Aiden didn't give a fuck. Aiden did his duty of being the P. Diddy of streaming. He did his duty. Keep in mind, Aiden the same nigga who, who was damn near naked and, and sat on Zeus's lap with no clothes on and said it was a prank. Aiden, Charleston White said Aiden plays gay games 24-7. Aiden has said multiple times that he's seen his friends' dicks and did weird shit with his friends. It get to a point where shit not jokes anymore. Right? Why would these billionaires, Michael Rubin, Dana White, why would they want to be involved with a nigga like Aiden Ross who blew up off of acting gay? Why would they want to be involved with him? You know what I mean? Why would they? Because Aiden is doing... Aiden is not what we think he is. <laughs> I remember, actually, I couldn't find the clip. I tried to find the clip. I couldn't find it. I don't know where it's at. But this was a video from years ago. It was Aiden and DDG. They went somewhere in public. And these two little kids came up to Aiden. And they were like, Aiden, look. And they did the uh, the dick suck gesture. And Aiden was laughing. Aiden influences kids to act the same way he does. He influences kids. And it's sick. <laughs> He's a sick man, bro. Aiden is a sick nigga, bro. Aiden, I believe, is the 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 ditty of streaming. I think he's the the gatekeeper, the 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 gatekeeper. He's the gatekeeper, definitely. Aiden kind of was the one who really pushed this streaming shit to like the next level, getting celebrities and all that on the stream. Aiden, I think he was chosen to be the gate, the gate. Keeper, I believe so, honestly. And I believe he's the Diddy of streaming. I think Aiden does some weird stuff to these streamers. I think. And they ha if they want to blow up, they have to they have to do this stuff that Aiden wants them to do. Because Aiden has no morals. He just wants money. And to, to you know, Aiden has no morals, bro. He has zero morals. I'm going to make more videos soon. Let me know if y'all want more videos like this. Like, I'm still going to make the poop uh, nigga so they so videos. But I can make more, like, straight up not jokey videos like this too do y'all think aiden is gay let me know <laughs> stay safe enough and uh do not go anywhere near aiden ross if you uh don't have to